everybody so I'm trying to do more cons I'm trying to do more consistent videos so I'm doing one today I think it's only been three days since my last video I'm trying to get them closer together um, but I have a little bit of time now right now like lately so I'm going to be doing more videos hopefully oh and I want to tell you something too for my giveaway I'll link my giveaway below but I'm having a giveaway right now um, that is going to be ending in about a week and a half, I think. All the rules are going to be on my blog, but I'll link the giveaway video um, below. So the couple things that I just wanted to clarify with the giveaway. And on my giveaway, I tell you to put your YouTube channel, not my YouTube channel. So most of you guys are understanding that, but I don't want you to... I put an example, HairGirl247. That's just an example of my YouTube channel. I just wanted you to put your YouTube channel, like nice hair 72 or whatever like put yours not mine because it won't count because I won't be able to check if you're subscribed to me or anything like that and also I for the giveaway I'm going to be giving you um, 48 hours to um, kind of respond back to me so please watch the video of the winner because if you don't I'm like then on un then unfortunately I'm, I'm not gonna you're not gonna win because then if you're gonna have to contact me and tell me that you that you watched the video and that you won. So this video is gonna be about different dry shampoos. And before um, when I, I started using dry shampoo, I just kind of use the same one all the time, and I thought, you know, what could be such a big difference between different dry shampoos? And I didn't really think about it. I don't know the prices. I have four different dry shampoos that I'm going to just kind of compare today. I don't know the um, the prices offhand, but I'm going to put them at the bottom. I guess I'll just try start off with this one. So this one is the Tresemme Fresh Start uh, dry shampoo and this one is the newer one that just came out. I know that they have a couple different kinds so this one's for oily straight hair. Uh, oil and odor remover with mineral clay and citrus. Um, it's It looks really nice. It has nice packaging and everything. It, you're supposed to, just like with any dry shampoos, you're supposed to hold them pretty far. Mm, so you're supposed to shake and hold 8 to 12 inches from the head and leave in for 1 to 2 minutes. Brush out then style as usual. Okay, so if shinier texture is desired, follow with fresh start, refreshing sh mint, refreshing mist. So, obviously, dry shampoo is to um, mattify your hair and to give it a little bit more volume at the root because uh, if you have oily hair, it turns you know like wet looking. So, if you want your hair to be shinier, dry shampoo is not something that you put through your whole head. It's just something you put through your roots. So that's why they're recommending. Um, the mist for this, which I don't have, which I'm kind of, I, I just read that, so I'm, I, I kind of am interested in getting the mist just to um, make it shinier. Using dry shampoo on me because I have blonde hair is not going to be as noticeable um, as if you use dry shampoo on somebody who has black or brown hair. So, um, but I still noticed a few things with these ones. I'm just going to do a little test on a on a black towel just to, just to show you. So I'm going to hold it about this far away which I would say is about eight inches and I'm just gonna spray it for two seconds one two and that's what it looks like right here so um, I mean it, it comes out pretty white and the individual little little flakes so it kind of makes you look like you have a little bit flaky hair that's what um, I've noticed with most of these and it's like kind of sticky and I don't really like it. This is the next one is the Marc Anthony Second Day Clear Dry Shampoo. It looks like this. And instantly instantly cleanses, absorbs oil, adds volume, and protects color without the wash. So again, shake vigorously. And this one, it says hold six inches away from hair spray on dry hair in quick burst concentrating on the root area. Let dry for one minute, brush through to finish your style, or for a more natural finish, give your hair a gent gentle tousle. So I'm just going to spray that about six inches away. This one did come out clear. Um, you probably can't see it because it's clear. So I did it just right below here, and it is clear. But the thing I noticed about this one is that um, it doesn't seem to work very well. So even though it's clear, my hair, I felt, stayed the same way, but I didn't see much of a result coming from this. 
I think maybe because the other ones that have like a powdery, like, um, you know, powdery consistency, like a white powdery consistency, have a better chance of like camouflaging it. So, uh, my next one, the second last one is the Got to Be Rockin' It uh, Ever Forever Style Stay Dry Shampoo. And long lasting style, skip a day invisible. And this one says <clears throat> eight inches from your head. It says it's invisible invisible after you it's brushed brushed out. So I'm gonna do shake this one and spray it right here. One, two. Okay. So this one was like more the most powerful one. So if you can see it, you probably can't see it. it's right here so it did leave a little bit of film on the hair but with this one I noticed that there's a lot a lot of little um, little little pieces like little chunks so I didn't like the way it left like chunks on my hair and of course this one left way more chunks on my hair because it's still it's still really really white and I know you're supposed to brush it out but I've brushed them out I've done everything so those ones I am not I'm not a huge a huge fan of. So this is the initial one that I started using. It's called Batiste, and it looks like it's from like the 80s or something. And they come in different flavors, I would say, or um, you know, they come in different colors too. So and they come in different like scents. This one is just like the natural one, like the, the original one. With this one, it, I, I might have ran out of it because I ran out of this one after I ran out of this one. I decided to try the other ones, and I was like. Because I was like, well, what's a dry shampoo? I might as well get one that's less expensive. But, um, so I might be out of it. I'll try to get some, some out of it here. Like, it's completely out. Like, I have nothing left in this one. But this one is the one I would be recommending because it doesn't, I have some, I have it in my hair right now. And as you can see, like, there's no, like, film residue or anything like that. And I feel that it works like really well on um, you know covering um, any wetness or like you know oiliness compared to the other ones and it doesn't leave a film so um, I unfortunately I couldn't put it on the on the um, on the towel because I wouldn't have any left but this is the, definitely the one I would recommend if you can find find Batiste I would for sure recommend it. I know it doesn't look as cool as like the got to be bottled or the you know the Tresme um, fresh start um, but these are the only ones that I've tried out. I haven't tried any other ones out. So uh, unfortunately I can't give a review on those but this one is definitely the re one I would recommend so hopefully, if you guys are in the market for a dry shampoo, definitely try any of these ones. Like the, any of the, fla the flavors or the scents or whatever, try these ones because I definitely think they are the best ones. I hope this you found this informative a little bit and uh, helped you make your decision. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!